Hi folks, Frank the Pesky here. So we seem to have a huge problem on Miami Beach with Whitefly this year. It exploded and I'm going to take you around the neighborhood and show you how defoliated the ficus have gotten. Um, we got more calls this year than any year. We're suspecting there is going to be a slight resistance, but we're also dealing with, we're on the beach, we're higher alkaline soil. Um, once the product is no longer uh, working uh, as far as being inside the plant and, and the amount of active ingredient reduces in the plant, they got attacked really bad from the surrounding areas. Let me show you over here uh, behind me. And there you can see it. The, this is known as a hot spot. Um, we've got thousands of feet around this property, but this is known as a hot spot and it looks like, you know, it defoliated a piece there and we got that throughout. So we came back after four months of doing the treatment and we did it last year. We had great success. We did it six months later and then four months later he's calling me that there's a defoliation. And so we came out, we redid the treatment because we know that on the beach we're having to do it every four months. We do a lot of stuff inland, but on the island itself of Miami Beach, it seems like the soil is more alkaline. It doesn't last. We're having the same problem in West Palm Beach on Palm Beach Island. So I came back, we redid the service again. I came back in 30 days, inspected. I'm back again now doing the inspection. It seems like there's no more defoliation, but look over here. Let me show you, I'm gonna walk over here and see this hot spot here behind me. I don't know if you can see the sun is hitting. There's a hot spot right over there. And then we have some hot spots inside the, the, the landscape, but it's not too bad. It's just in a couple of, especially the heavily shaded areas. But I inspected it. Let me show you something. What we do is, you know, I'll shake this tree and I'm looking for white fly to come out. There's no white fly coming out, so it's under control. We have like very little just flew out of there. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna put it in the little, so you don't get reflection from the sun and there's no white fly there. So it, it seems to have gotten under control. Now we're gonna be monitoring it every month to make sure, to make sure that, you know, we do have this under control and I'm gonna check you around the neighborhood and I'm gonna show you how bad it really is. But you can see behind me, you know, this looks pretty good. It is, did get a little bit of defoliation. There is some holes in there but not major like it is on the corner over here on, on this side. So driving through this neighborhood, you can see there's, there's defoliation at the top there. Um, this one over here looks like it should have, could have been trimmed away, but that's not a ficus. That's a ficus. There's the little holes in it. We get over here. And this is on Miami Beach, and this is on, on an island that's pretty private. Um, look at the defoliation. So, got hit really hard. This one got hit pretty hard. I'm going to go around the neighborhood, see what else we got. There you got some ficus there, you know, there it is. It's got hit pretty hard on this side. Look how, you know, bare that is. I'm gonna go around this way. And we got some really bad ones up here. There they are. This this got totally devastated. I mean, this is totally devastated. So it, this is within maybe a hundred yards of my client. That one also. Look how bare those are. I mean, they all got hit pretty hard. This one looks really good in the corner. But when you're looking at, look at that. I mean, that just got hit really hard. Look at that one over there on the other side. I mean, the whole thing is completely defoliated. Stop here at this corner. Let grandma go through. 
and look at that all the way till the end the whole block look over here so you've got this one hit really hard then look at this over here this one got hit hard over here now look at that that whole thing got hit hard I mean so if we've got people spraying their shrubs and other people not we used to be able to get serious control and, and it did not matter and what we started doing is over the next, let me take that off. Look at this one. This one's this one's pretty decent, you know, nice. Um, it didn't matter. All of a sudden, the amount of active ingredient available inside the plant seems to have dropped tremendously before uh, six months. Look at this one. How nice it's looking. So it's probably so. What the suppliers are recommending, my my rep for my. You know, he deals with a lot of nurseries and large complexes and government. You know, he's seen a lot all over the place. Look at this one. This is the same one that Kona we were at before. But look at that. It's just totally defoliated on this side. So... He's recommending that we do a combination of foliar spray with systemic treatment, which I'm not a fan of. You know, this is why we've done exclusively the systemic treatment. Because we were able, let's go over here, take a look. I'm driving through this whole neighborhood. Yep, they all look terrible. I mean, none of these look really good. They just, you know. Look how look how horrible that looks. I mean, you can almost see through that whole that whole shrub. You know, that couple of last year that's probably full. Now, what happens is a lot of people don't have year-round treatment for ficus, and they will wait. And what happens with ficus whitefly, in particular, is June, July, and August when the temperatures are highest. Look at this one, just totally devastated. Let me park here. There's this is an end road. Totally. I mean, top. And what happens is they don't have the protection, the spraying, during the hot months when the white fly. Not trying this. I'll talk to them later. Um, there you go. Look at that. All the top. Look at that one over there. Just totally devastated. And what they'll do is, I was saying, is they will go ahead and not have the protection while well, the white fly is at its peak breeding, you know, 200, you know, they can do as many as 150, 200 eggs in as little as eight days because their lifespan gets shortened when it gets really, really high temperature. Let me go ahead and flip this. Over. So what happens is as the temperatures rise in June, July, and August, the population explodes. Well, you get to the end of August and in the end of August, there's millions and millions and millions of white flies that have hatched, and now they're breeding. And you basically get a multiplication of compounded interest daily on millions. This is the danger of not having a protection, because if you have a company like mine, yeah, you could have a problem. We're not going to be problem-free. We have been for 15 years now since we started doing this in 2007. And we've had zero failure. This is the first time we had a failure. But look at the amount of infestation. So this guy's treating it, but the active ingredient dropped for some reason in the plant. And it got basically what is known as pest pressure. The pressure just took off. And everything around it got disseminated. So we, we need to stay on it. We're going to be doing monthly inspections, monthly inspections, monthly inspections. There's no replacement for inspections for somebody that's on it yes problems will happen but if somebody's on it and not waiting a quarter or doing a quarterly service 
on a quarterly service, forget it. That would have been destroyed. Um, so we're constantly on it, and that is the secret to really doing good lawn and ornamental pest control is inspection, 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 inspection. Most people think, I don't want to pay for inspection. I want to pay for a treatment. Um, those treatments are very expensive. So our key is we're always inspecting, we're always monitoring, we're always on top of it, trying to get, make sure that something devastating doesn't really happen. And if it does, that somehow we can stop it and correct it. Um, this is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a spectacular day.